you're thinking about moving your toddler from their crib. Do you really think that they're ready? And do you know the smoothest way to make this big step? In today's masterclass, we're looking at toddlers moving from the crib. Let's make this big transition go as smoothly as possible for your family. When is the perfect time to move from a crib to a bed? Well, actually, there is no perfect time. Now, you may need to move your child from their crib because they're climbing out. Make sure that you take a look at the description for this masterclass for some tips on trying to keep your child in their crib if they are beginning to climb out. Hopefully, that will buy you a little more time. Maybe you have a new baby arriving and they need the crib. If a sibling will be sleeping in the crib, you want to make sure the move away from the crib, do this way before the baby will be sleeping there. You don't want your toddler thinking that they've been thrown out of their bed and end up being mad at the baby. Having a few weeks or even a few months where no one is using the crib can be really helpful. You may just think it's time for your toddler to move from their bed. As I say, there is no perfect time. Let's make this move to the bed as easy as possible for your child and have minimal impact on their sleep. Now, any big change to sleep can cause a regression and moving to a bed is no exception. If you can, make up the new bed early in the day. Have your child help as much as safely they can do so. Doing this early in the day gives your child time to get used to the bed in the bedroom. Have playtime in the bed and in the room and practice getting in and out of bed. You can even have your child practice pulling their covers up. We want your child to be as comfortable with the space as possible before they sleep there. Remember, your child needs to be comfortable with the space for them to comfortably sleep there. So how do we handle sleep time? Go through your normal bedtime routine, as you always do, and help your child to sleep the same way that you usually do. When we're making the move to a bed, now is not the time to change how your child is falling asleep. It is not the time to get started with some sleep training. Your child will probably get out of bed for no other reason than they can. If your child gets themselves to sleep, I would wait outside of the room with the door open just a crack. If your child gets out of bed, firmly remind them that it is time to stay in bed. I wouldn't say it's time for sleep. That can be a lot of pressure on your child. They just need to remain in bed. If they don't stay in bed and continue to get out, go into the room, take your child by the hand, walk them back to bed and help them get back in and pull the covers up. Now, we do want them to be as independent as possible doing this, but they may need a little bit of help. A quick kiss and then leave. Don't engage in conversation. This is not the time for a chat. Your child will probably try getting out of bed again. Now, remember, toddlers are very impulse driven. They're getting out of bed just because they can. Do the same thing. Remind them it's time to stay in bed. Go into the room, take them back to bed and help them back in. Repeat, repeat, repeat. This may go on for a while and you may actually regret moving them to a bed at all. I'm wondering in the middle of the night if you can actually build that crib again. It's important that you remain consistent. Your child needs to know how you're going to react when they get out of bed. Now, if you've been at this for a while, you're probably going to be getting pretty frustrated and you're probably going to want to get on with your evening. You may consider going into the bedroom and sitting with your child so you can make sure that they don't get out of bed. I wouldn't do this. You don't want to start doing something that you are not prepared to do long term. I get it. If your child has been jumping out of bed for 30 minutes, you know how tired they are and they would probably be asleep within a few minutes of you sitting with them, making sure that they don't jump out of bed. You may need to be there 20 minutes the next night and the night after 
30. It's not many nights before you need to be with your child each night for them to fall asleep. And then maybe again, several times during the night to help them to get back to sleep. Now, of course, you can sit with your child for a little as they settle down, but if they are used to falling asleep alone, we want them to continue to fall asleep alone. Remember, you don't want to start doing something you're not prepared to do long term. Good luck with this transition from the crib to the toddler bed or to the bed. It may feel a little bit challenging initially, but your child will get comfortable with it. They will get used to it and they'll be sleeping, falling asleep with ease in no time. 